On Thanksgiving Day 2009, Paul Michael Marich was enjoying the holiday with his family at his cousin's house in Jupiter, Florida. After eating dinner, they gathered around the piano to sing Christmas and church songs. But the joyous family event soon turned into a nightmare after 35-year-old Paul Marich left the house and returned with a gun. Paul shot and killed his 33-year-old twin sisters, Carla Marich and Lisa Knight. Lisa was pregnant at the time. Marich also shot his brother-in-law, Patrick Knight, who had to be placed in a medically induced coma for three months. He then shot and killed his 76-year-old aunt, Raymonda Joseph. After shooting Raymonda once in the shoulder, her husband, Paul's uncle, tried to stop the bleeding as he cowered on the floor next to her. Paul Marich shot his aunt once more in the chest before turning the gun on his uncle. However, the gun did not fire after Paul attempted to shoot him twice. During the massacre, Marich could be heard saying, I have been waiting 20 years to do this. He then entered the room of his cousin's six-year-old daughter, Michaela Sitton. As Michaela slept in her bed, Paul Marich shot her and then left the room before quickly returning to shoot her again. He shot her a total of three times, once in the back, hip, and head. He then drove away in his blue 2007 Toyota Camry. A manhunt took place for marriage, but he was not discovered until January 2, 2010, after a Florida Keys motel owner recognized him from an episode of America's Most Wanted. Marriage had shaved his head, switched the license plate on his car, and used a car cover to try and hide his vehicle. During the investigation, it was revealed that Paul Marriage had a long history of mental instability and made numerous threats to kill himself and his twin sisters. One of his sisters would eventually get a restraining order against him that would be dropped weeks later. Paul had also shot himself years before during a suicide attempt. On the day of the killings, Paul called his mother to ask for directions to his cousin's house. Afterwards, Carol Marriage turned to her daughter Lisa and said, I hope he doesn't come and kill us all tonight. Mom, it came to my mind, her daughter replied, but don't say that to Dad, because Dad would get upset that we had such ideas. The Thanksgiving murders weren't the only violent tragedy in the marriage family history. In 1973, Paul's aunt, Sawa Marriage Abrams, shot and killed her husband in their home before calling in her two sons one by one and shooting them dead as well. She then turned the gun on herself and ended her own life. During his trial, Paul Marriage used insanity as his defense, but the prosecutors claimed it was premeditated murder after Marriage purchased four guns and withdrew $12,000 in preparation for the killings. In October 2011, Marriage pled guilty after making a deal that would spare him the death penalty. He received seven life sentences with no chance of parole instead. Patrick Knight agreed with sentencing marriage to life without parole because he wanted to move on with his life and not deal with years of appeals. Six-year-old Michaela's father, Jim Sitton, was pushing for the death sentence and had to be removed from the courtroom after falling to his knees and begging the judge to put Paul Marriage to death. The Sittons also filed a lawsuit against Marriage's parents, alleging they had invited him to the gathering without warning them that their son might be dangerous. The lawsuit was eventually dismissed in 2012 after it was determined that the marriages had no legal right or ability to control the actions of their son. The marriages filed a countersuit against the Sittons in 2011, alleging the Sittons were to blame for the bloodbath. Patrick Knight also sued his former in-laws for failing to prevent the killings.